Hi everybody, this is Dr. James Reed, chiropractor physician and certified functional medicine practitioner. So real briefly, uh, the clotting mechanism is very, very complex and there are many components that make up the clotting mechanism. And there are different tests that can be done to uh, take a look at some of these different components. Uh, there are some uh, tests that we do here at the office that break down some of those specific components. There's also genetic components as well too, you know, which I do want to mention. So those can come into play. They can be tested for as well. So it's a very complex system, but it, there are you know, tools to, you know, rather than just looking at prothrombin time and clotting time, there are other things that can be tested for to take a look at your propensity for you know, clotting or the lack of clotting. You know, looking at your platelet levels okay, are also a critical thing to uh, measure as well. And there's some other genetic tests that can be taken a look at and some autoimmune diseases that could be involved with taking a look at the clotting mechanism. And we do have you know, those types of testing here available at our office. Let's say you do have some issues, uh, what can you know, be done? Well, obviously if it's you know, genetics, you know, okay, you may be just, you have to be aware that your genetics uh, play a big part, but if you decrease the inflammation, all right, that in general, the hereditary components are kind of tampered down some. Um, but it's important to know whether you have like genetic propensity or not. So you have to be just a little bit more alert to things that can be done. Uh, we do find that fish oils, okay, are something that can actually help with uh, maintaining proper uh, blood clotting. I know that, you know, some people have gone for surgery and if you've been, you know, to a surgeon and they will tell you not to use fish oils, that's just incorrect information. They're actually finding that it modulates uh, uh, problems with blood clotting. So if you have a tendency to clot, it helps to alleviate the clotting, but it does not encourage extra blood thinning where you're going to bleed excessively. So I just wanted to mention that. You know, there's ginger, there's ginkgo biloba uh, that can be involved with uh, decreasing the stickiness of blood. Uh, we also find making sure that you have proper levels of vitamin K. Um, of course, if you're on warfarin or coumadin, yes, you have to be careful about your vitamin K levels and they need to be measured as well too. So a lot of things to you know, think about when we're dealing with uh, blood clotting. So if you'd like to get some more information and see if uh, there may be some help or would like to be tested, you can go ahead and contact my office at 480-732-0911 and we'd be happy to go ahead and try to help you. Thanks for listening.